So currently, like I said, we're in operation every Friday and Saturday. Uh, as we expand, we'll be looking at doing some things during the weeknights. Uh, but if you are curious about seeing some video and pictures and things like that, we have a Facebook page set up for the youth. It's called TGI Fridays Youth Club, so if you type that in on Facebook, you'll find it. Right now, we're sitting at about 110 kids on there, uh, which we're excited about because, again, we've only just begun to launch this program, and we know there's a lot more youth that are interested in their coming. So, again, that's TGI Fridays Youth Club. You can find it on Facebook. You can also find Restoration Church um, on Facebook as well. And our web address is restorechurch.ca. So you can go on to restorechurch.ca. You can actually watch the Sunday morning broadcast. We do a live internet feed on Sunday mornings. Uh, we have a service at 1030. So you can watch it on internet. It's also recorded so that you can go back and visit it and listen to the messages. You kind of find out who we are by listening to what we say. You know, I mean, when you listen to people, you know who they are. And that's what's important. So you've got a real focus then for youth, like, uh, because yeah. everything's high tech, everything is... Uh... Definitely. Um, I'm, my wife and I have been in youth ministry for six years, we'll say. I mean, I, uh, we started from ground zero and worked our way up. We were in North Bay prior to here, and we had a ministry out there called Urban Eden, uh, which was really focused on youth. And uh, we've been here in Sudbury about a year and a half. We're partnered with Pastor Jeff, and uh, we have a lot of the same heart and same vision to reach this city. And so uh, it's a pleasure to be here to work together. And uh, we're just committed to really seeing our youth in this community touched. One of the most important things that people have to remember when it comes to ministry is there's all kinds of different phases. You have to have youth, children, adult. It's so diverse, and really you need quality people to be able to reach out and do that. And that's why I'm real excited because the youth program, this is a model that we want to see get better and stronger and eventually do more launchings of this type of an atmosphere where you're creating some place the young people like to come. And because they like to come, they're willing to be respectful, they're willing to um, perhaps put things in place that they wouldn't put in place if they didn't want to be here. That's one of the main things. We want to make this so fun for them that if they can't come in here, it's going to be a disappointment to them. And uh, once they come in, matter of fact, uh, Adrian shared his testimony um, at one time. And when young people think about church, we're trying to break that mindset. Now, while this is a typical uh, church building on the outside, we're trying to make it very attractive and, and where people will drive up and see it and go, wow, like we have the young people, the kids model play area out here. We're expanding the parking lot. We've got some real plans to do some things out here just to keep people aware that we wanna, want them to see that it, God can be fun. And uh, that's what we're really looking forward to. And I think what's, what's really exciting is the level of commitment you'll find from Restoration Church. Uh, the level of commitment to say we are willing to do anything it takes to make an impact in our community for the youth. And so although at the present time we're limited in resources because of the size and scale of the building, uh, we're committed to using the whole church and transforming the whole church so that these youth can come out and have a great time. And you won't find that typically in too many other places where we will convert the sanctuary as, you, as you'll see in a few minutes, but downstairs is a big interactive game room for the youth as well. So the commitment to say, yes, we will do what it takes to reach the youth is pretty incredible. And that's why you see the different styles of chairs. For instance, these are stackable chairs that, that they take out, as Adrian said, they take these out and give them this whole big area to be able to um, interact with the young people and eventually we'll replace all of these chairs so that the whole room is available and we'll be able to accommodate without any trouble whatsoever 150 200 kids in this facility right here um, that's what's exciting about it great